Blog. Hey there, this is Tim from Twice Circled and welcome to episode 8 of the official Big Pharma video blog. Now in today's episode, got quite a lot to show you because it's been a little while and it's been a busy month. Uh, first off, I'm going to uh, show you the saving and loading feature in action. Uh, we're actually going to jump into the middle of a game I was playing a few days ago and hopefully this will let me kind of get a little bit further into the game, maybe try and reach level 4, maybe even a level 5 cure, let's see. Uh, I'm also going to show you the final tab, which is the company tab, and this shows a list of all the products that you currently have selling, as well as uh, various statistics for them, such as the total revenue they brought in, the average profit over that time, and also the current uh, sale price, cost, and, and profit associated with it. Um, also on this screen is a 12-month history of your company's cash flow and so this is kind of a it, it's got a bit of history to it but it's, it's kind of a snapshot of how your company's been doing over the last you know 10 minutes of gameplay something like that and this should hopefully allow you to pinpoint where potential efficiency savings could come from because you know oh I'm spending a little bit too much on researchers or my process costs are very high or my ingredient costs are very high and that sort of thing. A uh, final thing I forgot to mention, on in each of the individual products, you'll also be able to see uh, the, the first draft of this brand mechanic, which is how your products actually, their value changes over time once they're out in the marketplace, depending on their performance. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a, in a moment. There's also a load of graphical stuff I want to show off, but you know what, this is a really boring screen to leave you watching. So I'm going to jump into a game and show off the first feature, which is... Uh, the load game system. So I'm just going to load into this uh, game for vlog 2. And here we go. So, you know, that all seems to be working. Uh, that That's the first feature I'm here to show you. Obviously, it's something you kind of expect from a game is that you can do saving and loading, but it's, you know, it's actually obviously something you have to code up just like everything else. Uh, so it's kind of nice to finally have that in and finally be able to show you something other than just the very early game. Uh, so what I've done so far in this game is uh, I built up, you, you can see these are my very first two. Um, I had a little, I was making a cough, cough medicine. Um, I started there and then I unlocked the agglomerator and ionizer. Um, I, I got the agglomerator first, so at first I, then I started doing this. So I got my cough uh, and then I, I turned it into a um, asthma cure. Uh, but I had to just use dissolvers at first because I hadn't unlocked the ionizer yet. And then once I got to this point, I just unlocked the ionizer, so I used it then. Uh, and here's a much more efficient version of that production line where I've got just a single ionizer instead of these four dissolvers. So if I wanted to, I could kind of go back and refactor this production line. Um, but I'm not sure. Would it be worth it? Uh, this has a process cost of seven. These have process cost of two each. Yeah, so it, just, it would actually just be worth uh, removing all of those and replacing with a single ionizer. But I can't be bothered. Uh, and then I moved on to a mixed thing, so I what happens here is I'm adding this um, I added this this causes random fading side effect on here, uh, which I then can use to catalyze. Oh no, sorry, I was at, what I was adding is this triangle one, uh, this urinary retention catalyst, which I then use to catalyze the antihistamine uh, reaction, uh, which I set off later, uh, and then I I sell it eventually here. It's um, leaves insomnia and what's kind of nice is I actually managed to keep this relieves hypertension around and actually managed to get at 40% you see these two perfectly at 40% the hypertension is active and also the alleviates insomnia is active too uh, so this is actually a nice little double cure uh, it's quite valuable so I'm going to show you the the company tab now because it kind of it makes perfect sense because I uh, here you can kind of see how your products are, are, are performing um, and this one's actually not been out so long, my Relaxo pills. Um, I called them Relaxo pills because I thought alleviate insomnia, makes you sleep, and relieves hypertension, lowers your blood pressure. You know, Relaxo pills, makes sense, right? Um, but you can see that this has a really nice average profit and um, much higher than the other two. So this is by far going to be my, um, my big uh, money spinner, I think. Anyway, so this is the company tab. You can see cash flow over on the right. Um, I've not been playing for quite... Oh, no, I think I have been playing for over a year. So, yeah, no, this is a full 12-month history. Um, and so what you'll see is this total revenue. Um, 
it, it will increase because I'm, I'm making more money than I was 12 months ago. But, you know, you, you'll find that after 12 months, it kind of, the um, these figures will just be kind of updating. It's like a moving average, if you like, uh, which I think is kind of nice. You can kind of see the direction that you're going. You know, are you making more money than you were 12 months ago? Um, decent operating profit um, with a decent margin. One of the tweaks I might make is I might make this margin not include um, your workforce and loan interest because really they're overheads. They're not really oper within your operating uh, profit and so I think I might move these two up to here so it's just your revenue and your production costs and then have your margin there so that's really how much money you're making f uh, profit based on your your raw material and processing costs and then you've got your kind of extra overheads your workforce loan interest and then you just have a final total profit rather than an operating profit at the bottom I think that would make more sense uh, and you've also got the loan system is now fully integrated up here it's kind of neat the interest rates and the borrow limits actually update over time based on your performance so if you um, right now I've only got a twelve thousand uh, dollar loan which isn't too much and because and basically it compares your current loan rate to your current operating profit and uses that to make a judgment on you know how how good an investment are you how how likely are you going to be able to keep up on your loan repayments um, well, given at 13% interest, my loan repayments are only going to be about 1.2 grand on um, on that 12,000. I've had to, yeah, work that out a bit more, 1.5 1, 1 grand, I'd say. Um, with an operating profit of 42 grand, I'm, I'm obviously going to be able to cover those loan payments. So they're quite up for giving me a much higher borrow limit. If I if, if I want to, I could go all the way up to 44. It's actually ticking up because I'm making good money now. Oh, and then it just went down to 30. That's a bit odd. Um, okay. <laughs> Uh, that's very weird. Maybe that's a bug. I'm not sure. But I quite like that idea. You know, there's a little bit of real kind of business going on there. And actually, it makes sense to have yourself relatively geared. So to have a relatively large amount of loan, if 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 you're allowed, if you can use that money, if you don't have spare cash, it's worth taking out that loan as long as you're getting the operating profit to pay it off. Because then you can use that money to increase your profits in the future. Um, so, yeah, the next thing to talk about is you've got these financials. They're pretty self-explanatory. But then you've got this big one in the middle, which is brand value. Now, this is how your products can change their value over time once they're out in the market. So if you don't have any active side effects in your product, the only thing currently that can happen is they can become a, a more trusted brand. The more you sell, the more you produce, as uh, they're used more by doctors, uh, it becomes more of a trusted brand and you actually get an increase in branded value. So here... Our drug Soothes Cough is widely regarded to be the number one drug of its kind. Now, this is because I've been producing it for a long time. You know, what would be quite nice, actually, is to have a total a total count of sales. Maybe I should have that at the top here, or maybe here. Maybe at the top of the efficacy, you could have a total kind of, let me think, something like, you know, total people cured or total, total something sold. That might be kind of feed in quite nicely to this. Maybe even in brackets after this first in class, because it's, it is related to the number that you've sold. Um... And then here you've got this is a trusted brand, which is it's, which is a level lower than first in class. So after long term usage, doctors around the world prescribe our drug, eases asthma as a reliable treatment. And then the, the lowest one is um, oh I can't remember something um, seems to be effective, something like that. Now you'll also see I've got this red one, which is that over time. Um, if you have active side effects, your drugs, uh, you know, reports can come in that your drugs are uh, causing side effects and that they actually knock down the brand value. And then, so this is actually, because it's plus five from the trusted brand for, for the easy asthma cure, which is decent, but it's minus 13 because patients are complaining about not being able to see in the dark due to the drug. So it's actually averaging out at, at, at 92%. Now, if I go and find this drug out in the, um, where is it? Um, here, then I can actually hover over this combined value. This is new. So it says it's plus 86 from the user's asthma, or 87. Um, that's strange. They should be synced up, but never mind. Um, it's got a bonus of $15 uh, from the pill, because the pill just increases the value a little bit. Um, but because of the brand value of 93%, it's actually got a minus 7 from that. Um, so it actually affects the total combined value. And so the the higher the value of the drug, you know, the more kind of um, those those side effects will impact you, and you'll you want to think about whether 
you know, w whether it's worth getting rid of those side effects. Um, can't actually remove Narrow's Pupil. It's not an especially bad one, but uh, there are much worse side effects. And, um, for example, this causes random fainting. That's a bit more serious. And it's not actually come through yet, but it is active. And so if I'm not, it, there's a certain amount of randomness there. But if I'm unlucky, then there will be reports of random fainting. And that will, that could have a quite a serious knock on the brand value. And seeing as this is our flagship product, this really is a, a risk that I'm taking. And if I wanted to, I could, I could relieve that risk by changing the concentration up to 65% to 85% and then removing it using an ionizer, but that's obviously going to increase my process costs. So that's a judgment you're going to make. I think this is neat for a first draft. I think there's probably some additional things I could do to it to make this a little, I don't know, kind of cooler. I'm not sure quite yet, but it's something, I think this is a nice basic version. It's something I can quite easily tweak and play around with in the future. Okay, um, and here's an example basically. So it comes up through the message system. We've got eases asthma, more side effects. The bad reports about your drug eases asthma continues to come in, damaging the product's brand. Um, so that's now minus 12%. So actually that started off because it's only a minor side effect. It starts off maybe my, minus 5%, but because um, the bad reports kept coming in, it's actually jumped up to, to, to minus 11, 12. And those will slowly subside over time. Um, based on kind of the market's ability to kind of forget, which is very much, you know, that's that's just the that's just the way of things, isn't it? That over time you kind of forget the, the terrible stories about a certain company or a certain brand in the past, uh, and eventually those will subside. But if you keep causing side effects, the chance that they will, um, will re-emerge. Anyway, I think that's about enough on the company tab. Um, so let's jump back through to here. Um, what else is going on? So you can you probably notice all these little guys now around the um, around the factory. So um, they they aren't like the machine animations, which are completely kind of linear. They always do the same thing when 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 they're active. The animations of the little guys are actually kind of um, semi-randomized, and so you'll you'll see them all kind of doing things at different times. Um, which I think is kind of neat, and it, it just gives a much more organic feel to the factory. And let's face it, you know, they are organic; they're people, and so that makes a lot of sense. Um, and anyway, what I'm going to do for the rest of this video is I'm going to aim to get up to this anaesthetic cure. Um, and so I need to first unlock this ultraviolet curer, and then I also need to find um, a pink diamond catalyst. So. I've got quite a lot of money, so I'm actually going to just, um, oh, why can't I hire more guys? Oh, that's weird. I'm going to throw some more, quite a lot of guys down. Is that working? Yeah. These are more difficult locations, so it's taken a while to find them. Um, I'm going to split my explorers off over two different um, locations, because I think that's, that's prudent. Um, maximum researches you can put on a single topic are four at the moment. Research tab... I've been playing around with it. It, it. it does the job. I think there's probably a few, a few improvements I could make to it. At the moment, even though you've got this kind of very open... It's probably worth getting a shaker. This open structure. I actually feel quite limited only being able to put, put, put four researchers down on a single um, topic. I'm thinking of make, making this almost limitless. So if you want to, you can um, really kind of really concentrate in one area. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% I'm not sure on that one. Um, and then maybe with a kind of, uh, what's it called, um, kind of reducing effectiveness, adding an extra guy, so maybe each, and, well in fact this is already in there, each extra guy that you add to your research product has less effect than the one before, and so um, there's an argument that you could actually make this unlimited, but you're just get, not getting as much value for your, for your salary. Um, I think also probably I just need to make research take a lot longer. Um, yeah, I have a number of ideas for tweaks I can make to the research tab, um, but I, I kind of won't go into detail about those now because I'm, I'm doing a lot of talking and not much gameplay at the moment. Um, but anyway, what we're trying to do is get to this UV cura by the end of the episode and then use that. But let's let's you know, let's make the rest of the production line. You know, what, I'm going to actually start in a new place because I don't think we're going to be able to fit it in here. God, it's getting quite expensive to buy things, and I've also my profits have taken a hit now. I've um, I've just bought a load of new stuff. I'm just going to repay my loan. I might get that loan back out if I um, if I need to. Is that working? Sorry, I just want to check that loan was working for some reason. I just 
Yeah, yeah, that totally works. Okay, weird. Um, okay. So, what are we going to start with? We're going to start with painkiller. Oops. So it's this one here. And then to upgrade that, we need to, pretty simple, we just go single ionizer. Oops. I'm actually getting a few frame rate issues. It's a bit strange, kind of spiking a little bit. But it's quite similar to what I had um, in the last video. I don't get this when I'm not recording. I only get this when I'm recording footage, unfortunately. So I kind of um, haven't been concentrating on optimization. Um, it it does it just seems to happen once you get quite a lot of um, machines down there. Um, okay, so then we need the triangle catalyst. Do we have access to that? I think we do. Yeah, there we go. So we'll bring that in here. So hmm. Now, ideally, we don't... This induces nausea. <laughs> it says inflamed skin. That's a mistake. Uh, this induces nausea is... Um, you cannot remove it. So we don't really want that around. So ideally, we want to see if we can avoid having that when we do our mix. Um, so this has space in both those places. So that might be quite difficult to do, actually. Um, by default, those two will go in. See, that hypertension is actually better but we want this uses migraines we could use a shaker so what we could do see we can remove this okay so i'm just going to show you this because i think it's quite clever have we got the shaker yet oh, i haven't got the shaker yet that's a shame how long 10 days that's worth waiting while i explain so what we can do is we use the shaker to rotate this by one that puts the causes pins and needles down here and then when we mix them we um we put make the the base this ingredient, this drug, and that means that this causes pins and needles will displace the induces nausea, and we won't get that. Um, and that just leaves us with with what we want, which is the, the triangle catalyst, and this, which we can actually remove because um, relatively easily. Here we go. There's the shaker. I'm not going to go bother going and looking at that. Oh, actually, I, oh, I might need to reassign my workers. Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, so let's get the shaker. And then we're going to do that. that is incorrect whoops so this is the wrong way around you see what we've done here is we've we've kept that induces nausea whereas now I've just toggled that base what you'll find is the next one that comes out we'll have to get rid of that first drug because uh, it's not what we want let's just set that um, research going worth getting the chromatograph as well I mean definitely research is too quick at the moment um, uh, it, it's kind of nice for the video because it means I can show off some stuff, but um, yeah, no, in the final thing, it definitely won't be this quick. This, see, this can already be set off now. The autoclave, though, I know will half the concentration. What I'm thinking, it'd be nice to get rid of this first. So what I'm going to do is actually take it through an evaporator to knock it up by one percent, uh, one by five percent rather, and then I'm going to put it through a dissolver. which will remove that pins and needles side effect. Then we're going to go through the autoclave, uh, which will actually do what we really want it to do. Um, where should we go? That looks nice. Um... So there goes our causes, pins and needles. Slight little bug there with the um, the concentrations overlapping. 
Reports of random fainting. Yes, I told you this might happen. Last the week, there were three separate cases of people fainting on public transport. All of them were taking your drug relaxo pills. Um, perhaps our drug relaxo pills is a little bit too relaxing in that it's actually causing people to pass out in the middle of, oh my god, and look, that's quite a bad side effect. We've been a little unlucky in terms of the dice roll that goes on there, I happen to know. Um, but th that's the point of side effects. It, like I say, this is a very basic first draft of a system, but, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, oh, that's cool. Oh, but it's it's good. Well, it's shown to be effective, at least, which is nice, because that's at least we got a little bit of plus 3% brand value. Anyway, what I was saying was, um, the point, what I'm trying to get through with this first draft, with this idea that it's 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 risky to leave side effects in. I mean, look, we managed to get a total revenue you know, of $40,000 before any of those side effects started to come through, so, you know, the risk, to a certain extent, may have paid off, but... Um, yeah, that's that's definitely what I'm going for. I want I want the whole decision of whether to include side effects to be a a balance of chance and and risk management. So I think that does you know in a very blunt way it currently does do that. It also adds a bit more flavour. I kind of like the idea that our relaxo pills are causing people to to fall asleep on the uh, on the train. Um, right, this is good. We'll be able to remove that as well actually. Now that's actually really good. That's just lined up really nicely for us. We've already upgraded to anti-seizure. Now the final thing we need is... Oh no, wrong one. Look at this. Okay, we'll whack all of our explorers on here. Oh, it's a maximum of three. We'll fire this one. Um, now what we wanted is, as I said earlier, is we want this little purple diamond, but we got the um, this one here. So we were a little unlucky there. We're not going to be able to get up to anaesthetic for a little bit. And in fairness, we still have to wait for the UV Cura to get uh, to get researched. So um, what we could do for the moment is get this. We maybe split this off. The UV Cura has a process in time. I'm not sure if you can see it. Process. It's got a process in time of free. I happen to know that. So and currently everything we've got to here is kind of we're getting here with a processing time of two, maximum processing time of two. So we could potentially split one off and just sell it as anti-seizure. I think that's worth doing. Gives me something to do anyway. Will it have any side effects? Is it worth putting through the cream maker? Oh yeah, one thing worth mentioning with the side effects is... Hey, that's cool. One thing worth mentioning with the side effects is... The cream maker no longer, re sorry, side effects no longer have a negative value directly attached to them. So urinary retention doesn't actually reduce the price of my drug at all. The only way side effects can help hurt you is in trials, which I haven't in included yet, and in those random reports of that hit your brand value that that are are included and that you've seen examples of. So the point of that is, um, I can't remember where I was going with this. Um, Oh, that's it. So the cream maker no longer actually kind of has such an obvious effect in that it just reduces the the negative value of side effects. It now reduces the chance of those side effects happening out in the real world. So if you have a really bad side effect that you cannot shift, the cream maker is a really great choice to just make it super unlikely that those side effects will come through in the real world. I mean, you still could be unlucky though. Um, but what I'm thinking is it will also reduce the percent, the negative percentage that you get on the brand value as well as the chance of it happening. So because you know the side effects shouldn't be so severe if you if it's a cream basically because it's just on the outside of your skin. Uh, okay, does that work? More, more side effects. Oh my god, this is actually killing us. So now we're actually minus 52 because basically a second report of random fainting came in. That doesn't always happen, it's random. Perhaps I haven't quite got the, the, the numbers right yet, but um, oh, there's our, our next ingredient, cool. All right, great, so. Um, oh my God, this is brilliant, actually. God, this might even be better than what I was planning, but okay, that's fine. For now, we'll just put it for a pill maker. I don't think we've unlocked the sachet, sorry, syringe maker yet, which would be ideal in this circumstance. Hmm. We do have the sachet maker though, which would give us a bonus for those two. Oh, you know what, it fits in perfectly here as well, and we're only going to be sending one down here every now and again. Oh, it doesn't quite fit in perfectly. Ugh, that's so close. Oh, that would have been amazing. Ugh, oh, damn it. Okay, never mind. Hmm. <laughs> Release hypertension and anti. <laughs> the 
let's call this um this is also kind of a relaxing pill isn't it man i, I i'm all about the relaxing pills um no more shakes chromatograph okay almost got that uv cura Do, 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 do. I can't believe I'm actually singing in a video blog. Because you do get used to doing these. You get more and more relaxed the more you do it. You know, I'm going to start embarrassing myself one one of these days. Um, okay. So we can't actually yet use the ultraviolet cure, but we can kind of do our final kind of mix. Um, so we need to get that, that other catalyst in. Let's get it imported and then we'll um, we'll have a little look at them. Let's fire our useless explorers. I'm sorry. I wonder if that should maybe knock your overall company value if you fire a lot of people. That would be a cool idea. There's um, there's a lot of kind of cool little things I, I could add in terms of kind of like extra little random things happening. Not not random, like little little news stories, little things occurring based on your actions that the, that, that the player doesn't quite... You know, like, you know, they go, oh, they had no idea that firing too many people could cause you to kind of, people to not like you. Um, I kind of like that idea. Okay, so that's in the wrong place. What we could do is make this one displace the other one. So we don't actually need this anymore. So if, if we, I mean, that's just worked perfectly. But the thing is, you do have to spot these patterns. It's not, you know... We, this has worked really nicely, but um, you could easily, if you didn't spot this pattern, you could just get the um, toggle the base the wrong way around, and you wouldn't take advantage of this. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Um, what's going to happen is we're going to make this one the base, so that these two displace in favour of of those two, of these ones. So we're going to lose this side effect that we don't really want anyway. We're going to replace it with the side effect we do want, and actually another positive effect, which is kind of ideal. Oh, we didn't actually check whether we got the base the right way around. No, we didn't. God, every time. Now, the weird thing I'm here with the frame rates, I can actually see we're running at 55 frames per second for m nearly all the time. We're just getting this little spike. I think it's on the movement calc. So I think it's just when every... Once you get these lots of production lines like this, it's just doing a lot of number crunching a single frame. So I think if I just spread that out over a few frames um, using a, a separate thread, I think it'll be, well, yeah, you can't actually do separate threads in Unity, but using a coroutine. <laughs> Don't worry, talking technical stuff. Uh, it should be pretty easy to solve that stuff. Um, right, okay. So now all we have to do... Oh, no. Oh, my God, that didn't work. Why didn't that work? Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, got that. So now we just need to get it down to 20. Not from, oh no, we've already got oh, this. is amazing. This is amazing. Have I got the ultraviolet clear yet? No. Oh, so close. At least we're making a little bit of money. Doing quite well this round, this game. I've got to admit, it's, it's a little too easy. Uh, everything's a little too cheap. Making a little bit too much money. But um, that could all come out in the balance, that's fine. Trusted brand, good. Well, that's nice. At least my Relaxo pills are getting a little bit back. Um, they're shown to be effective and they're a trusted brand. Uh, interestingly enough, those actually should replace each other. It shouldn't really have both. Um, so that's fine. I'll, um, I'll have to check that out. Come on, UV Cura. Oh, my God, three months. I might just cheat. How would you guys feel if I cheated? If this is a Twitch stream, you could actually tell me, but it's not. Um, I'm going to cheat because I've got lots and lots of work to do in front of Res next week, and uh, and I want to wrap this up. So, you didn't see nothing. Imagine a little message came up and said, Director, there's been a breakthrough. We, uh, we managed to complete three months of work in a single day. Oh, look at that ultraviolet cure. I've not, I've had, I don't know if I've even shown you this machine yet. It's so cool. 
So this actually reduces the concentration to one always, which can be useful in certain circumstances, but most of the time when you're going to be using it, it's going to be really annoying because your, your, your concentration is one. And actually the anesthetic that you're creating, oh, it's not too bad. It's only 20%. But I could have made that much meaner and moved that way up the scale. Um, so where's the sweet spot? You know, we don't want this side effect. We definitely want it below 50%. Uh, this is active between 20 and 55. We could go to 40. Oh, 40 makes all three of those things active. That's amazing. Okay, watch this. So we go, oops, agglomerator. Followed by agglomerator. So, you know, I've um, potentially been a little lucky in all these side effects, uh, sorry, all these cures lining up with each other so well. But at the same time, I would say that um, it's possible to spot those patterns yourself. So, you know, I've been a little lucky because, you know, I'm an idiot and I'm just kind of doing what I fancy doing, which is nice. But if you're playing this super, super um, competitively, then, you know, you could spot those patterns from, from all of the information that you have at the beginning and work out that this is actually going to be amazing. And at the same time, if you don't spot patterns, then you, you could actually get yourself into a lot of trouble and you end up lining up lots of side effects with the, the cure you're trying to create. So, do we have syringe maker yet? No, so annoying. Well, Sasha is actually going to be perfect in this situation, in fairness. Um, quite difficult to fit in. I'm just going to build in front of this socket. It's a bit annoying, but... I wonder if we could get two Sasha makers. I have a feeling... No, actually, one's, one's enough. Now, I think we are missing out on a single tick. Like, this one's efficiency is only 40%, um, because the UV Cura as a process time of free. Now that should slowly go up. Well yeah, this will I think this will even out at about sixty six percent efficiency. Um because the UV Cura's got a process time of three, the multi mix has a process time of two. Um oh it's Neymar, amazing product. I mean look at that. That is amazing. It's a sachet that 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 will put you to sleep. <laughs> Relieve your hypertension and soothe that pesky rash. I think we're just gonna call this um, I am wonder drug. How much does that sell for? 402. Increases combined value by 15 for each positive effect in drug. I think this needs to be bigger. I think this needs to be more like 30 or something like that. In fairness, the sachet maker doesn't cost that much per process. So that's, that is, yeah, that's a, that's pretty good. If I hover over this, you can see that now, why is that not working? Anesthetic, release type tension, soothes rash, brand value 100%. Oh, that's a shame. Um, oh, no, it is working. No, no, I can see that's working. But it should have an extra little line there that says sachet maker bonus 45 because it's 15 times free. But it's, you know, uh, it, it, it's, it's only a little display bug. It, bug. it is taking it into account into that, that final price because I've just done the maths in my head. Um, but that's pretty sweet. And then look at this guy. He's pressing all the little buttons. All my little workers. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Oh, I'm going to show you one more thing, which is you can paint the floor now. So let's stay away from this um, ultraviolet cura because it's super dangerous. And I feel I feel like this this production line needs some uh, needs some metal. Um, you, you'll also be able to paint belts. That's basically already in, but I just um, I haven't hooked up the menus yet. Um, so, um, and I know a lot of pe people have been asking for that. So don't worry, you will be able to paint. Um, should we go for wood? It's a bit weird, but let's go for it. Um, you'll actually, if you switch the, on that same paint tile, there will be an extra couple of options, which is the paint um, belts, and then you'll be able to paint your belts four different colours, and that'll help you kind of spot the different production lines that you have in your in your factory make it a bit easier on the eyes um, I might add a fill command maybe if you um, double click fills the um, oh lost my thing yeah I do need to get these um, frame rate issues sorted out because um, they, you know they do impact on my quality of 
you know how much I'm enjoying myself if I'm honest all right brilliant um, that's the end of this video um, I hope you've enjoyed it and that uh, you've learned a little bit more about what's in the game you can see how busy I've been and um, I I will talk to you soon um, and if you're coming to res next week then I will see you there but in the meantime uh, stay happy all right see you later bye